spinning animation in powerpoint Today I am going to show you how to make a spinning animation like this in PowerPoint. So let's begin the topic. Go to new slide. Insert a blank slide. Go to design. Go to format background. Go to gradient fill. Select a color. Typically this color. Change the direction from here. Change the gradient stops. This is looks good. Now go to insert. You can insert the gear from online picture or you can insert it from the smart art. Go to smart art. Go to relationship. Click on gear. Click on OK. Now I have to go smart design. Go to convert. Go to convert to shapes. Then the smart art converted to shapes. Then I have to click the shapes, go to group and ungroup. Then let me delete this gear, this gear, this gear, this one and this one. Now I have to change something. I have to take a shape, go to insert, go to shape, pick a oval shape by holding the shift key, drag it over here. Change the fill color, shape fill, like this fill. Then select both of the shapes. Go to align, align center, align middle. Now select both of the shapes. Go to shape format, go to merge shape, go to subtract. Now I have to change the shape fill, this fill. Then I can go to insert, go to shape, pick a oval shape here and drag it over here like this. Place it here and select both of the shapes. Go to align center, go to align middle. Click on shape, go to shape outline, no outline, shape fill, this fill. Then go to insert, go to shape, insert a text box, drag it over here. Write team A. Change the shape format and change the text format and increase the font size. Then I have to group this shape and this shape and press Ctrl G to group them together and press Ctrl D to duplicate and place it over here and resize it. Change the shape fill. This fill change the Change this color from this color and press Ctrl D to duplicate and place it over here and resize it. Change the gear color, this color, change the inner shape color, this color and again press Ctrl D to duplicate and place it over here. Change the shape fill, this fill, change the inner shape fill. Then Copy the text box, press Ctrl D to duplicate, place it right here, Ctrl D to duplicate, press it right here, press Ctrl D to duplicate and place it right here. Change the team B and team D. Select this shape, go to add animation, go to wheel and change effect option to a spokes and change the duration. Then again select this shape, go to add animation, click on spin and change the duration to 4 seconds. Then select this shape, go to add animation, click on zoom and select this text box and change it to with previous. Then I have to select second animation, actually the spin animation and go to effect option, go to timing and repeat until the end of slide and click on OK. Now if I want to watch the slideshow, what will happen? You will see the gear will be rotating until the slide end. Then I have to click this one, go to animation painter, click on this shape. Again click on this shape, click on animation painter and click on this shape. 
then click on this shape click on animation painter and click on this shape then i have to select this text box go to add animation go to zoom and with previous then move it over here then i have to select this text box go to add animation go to zoom and move it right there and click on with previous then i have to go this text box go to add animation go to zoom and click it with previous then if i want to watch the slide show after watching the slide show uh, there is something wrong here so i have to change the animation i have to select this animation and go to effect option click on count clockwise then i have to select this animation actually the sixth and go to effect option go to count clockwise i have to select this animation actually the eight nong animation which is the rotating animation and effect option go to count clockwise if i want to watch the slide show again you can change the gear rotating clockwise or anti clockwise by clicking the gear animation actually this animation this animation click on four uh, go to effect option go to clockwise or anti clockwise so hope that tutorial is uh, helpful to you if you like our video please subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends and family thank you